Murphy, how do you like espionage? Is that the language uh, that they made up to? No, that's Esperanto, oh. but that's close. Espionage. The modern rogue sends secret encrypted messages. All right, now, slow scan television is something that was developed in the 1950s as a way for people to transmit static images using sound. And it sounds a lot like a modem sure. or a fax machine. Most of us hear those sounds and we think of like late 1990s trying to get on AOL.com and downloading extremely slow pornography. But this is the same technology from the 1950s. It's the technology that the Soviets used to transmit images of their dogs in space. The U.S. used it as well, and we can use it today on our freaking iPhones. There's nothing more ridiculous and awesome to me than the idea of using the height of 21st century technology in order to replicate 1950s tech. Exactly. It actually makes me think of how you obfuscate something by going backwards. Much like in World War II, one of the most impenetrable methods of communication that the Allied forces used was the Navajo language. Code talking. Yes. Yeah. Traditionally, uh, people had cumbersome modems and phosphorus tubes and ham radios. They had this elaborate setup to transmit the audio to whoever else had the same setup. One of the things that you have to have is a decoder slash encoder. Encoding technology is developed by a handful of companies and there are all sorts of types. Now they all vary on how fast they go, how many colors they can use, if they use colors at all. Because this is audio based, it doesn't matter if it's ham radio, shortwave radio, over the telephone. In this case, we're using these cheap $20 UHF transmitters. So the app we're using is just called SSTV, and I just started the app, and this is what our speech right now looks like. Because I'm gonna be holding the iPhone up to the walkie-talkie. If there's any kind of like birds tweeting or noise, that's gonna interfere with the that's actual That's all gonna show up, yeah. yeah. Let's do this. You head up to the studio, we'll maintain contact over UHF walkie-talkies, and I want you to transmit me some super secret important image. Oh, you're gonna regret I this. I know, I know. I regret <laughs> everything I do. All right, this is uh, Echo 7 to Echo Base. We are commencing our journey out into the wilderness. Godspeed to me. Copy that, Echo 7. Uh, don't go out past the first marker. Echo 7 to Echo Base. As I walk along, it occurs to me that uh, this is my actual neighborhood, and a lot of people are watching a grown-ass man pretend to be a spaceman. Echo Base to Echo 7, when has that ever stopped you? We just set off a smoke bomb in your garage and it didn't get any attention whatsoever. Over. Echo 7 to Echo Base, I am halfway, and it really makes a difference that we're walking so far away from each other, because I can imagine being, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles with a direct line of sight. There's part of me that's like really geeked up about the actually transmitting images this way. Echo 7 to Echo Base, I am now officially in the wilderness. I cannot see any man-made structures. I'm going to imagine that I'm on the surface of the moon, and I need some final information that only you can send to me by slow scan television. Copy that, Echo 7. Echo Base is transmitting the image in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Echo 7 to Echo Base, I have received the image. I am attempting to alter the phase and skew so I can figure out oh, you mother God damn it! <laughs> uh, Echo 7 to Echo Base, it appears you sent me a picture of me with french fries stuck up my nose from approximately one decade ago. Can you confirm? That is correct, Echo 7. French fries in the nose. That picture is freely available on the internet. Over. Echo 7 to Echo Base, you're an over. Roger that, over. Echo 7 to Echo Base, in the interest of a uh, complete connection, I'm going to try to take a beautiful picture of this alien landscape. I believe it's called Outside that I will send to you. Are you prepared to receive? I am prepared yet afraid, Echo 7. We are ready to receive, over. I am transmitting image of nature splendor in five, four, three, two, one. Echo 7 to Echo Base, did you receive? Echo Base to Echo 7, picture is received, and this outside looks terrifying. It looks like uh, somewhere the Blair Witch would hang out, over. <laughs> Roger that, Echo 7. Copy that, beers at 0500, Echo Base out.
Dude, I gotta tell you, I am in love with the kind of stuff we get to cover in the Modern Rogue, and I feel like it's only gonna get more interesting from here. Yes, and I have an entire vault of information, a library that we can go through and pull and make these episodes, and they're all made possible by our friends at Squarespace.com. It's the fast, easy way to make any beautiful blog portfolio or any other kind of website. I do coding all the time, but when I go home and I need to make something for personal reasons, I don't you want, want to, to code. Look, yeah, you just want to make it look good, you want it to be easy, and you want it to be hosted with a reliable service, right? Exactly, and they have all of these gorgeous templates where you really just click and drag and then you've got something that looks immaculately professional. My friend Jeff Kanata made his personal website on Squarespace just using a template and modifying a bit. It later won an award for designs to be inspired by on some website. They didn't know it was a Squarespace template. But what if I don't believe you, Brian? Oh, well then, my friend, you go to squarespace.com slash rogue, sign up for your free trial, and when you do sign up for Squarespace, which you will because they're awesome, then use promo code rogue. You'll be keeping us in business and more importantly, you will get 10% off your first purchase. Now back, oh, yeah, I was going to toast you, but you're a terrible host and haven't offered me a beverage. <laughs> I, I, ah, that's not true. I always offer you. I'm out of here. Give me a beer. Make up for your sins. Repent. <laughs>